Hey, what's up, guys? It's Oakley, and we are going to be playing with some Beast Man. Love playing with these guys. They're a super fun faction. I only got to play a couple battles over here in multiplayer, but man, are they fun. Hyper aggressive. The massive monsters is really sick. It has me excited for when they finally get to the Ogre Kingdoms. It's going to be like this, but on steroids. And if the Russian uh, hack or whatever the data mining is that they've done is correct, as it seems to be, well, we'll be seeing that in the future. Anyways, in this battle, I have the Beastmen moving forward. My opponent is going to be the Vampire Counts. So, I'm still playing around with builds for the Beastmen. Not sure what is best. Um, but, in any case, in this battle, I have two Ungor Spearmen leading the front. Uh, I think Spearmen are key in this. You need to keep enemy Cav um, from just trouncing through your light troops. Basically, you need Spears to beat back enemy monsters to allow your own monsters to run uncontested. And kind of to beat back anything with high charge. And allow your ravenous gore herds to get into the mix unmolested. These guys are cheap, they're weak, and yes, they are disposable, but best not to let them get charged needlessly. If they can get in combat and swamp down the enemy, that is preferable. So that's kind of what I have moving up the front for those uh, just generic gore herds. I do have uh, my Beast Lord here, and he is going to be mounted on the Razor Gore Chariot. I found this is very powerful. So it's Azarak here. Awesome Lord with some great buffs that you can have for him. So he's going to be meant to kind of stick it to the enemy, charge them, break them, buff my cheap units to get them going. To back that up, I have a full unit here of Razor Chariots, also powering up. So this can do a devastating charge. In the back, I have these two Minotaurs. Uh, one of them, uh, or both of them here, I believe they are armed with great weapons. Or no, just the regular type. Uh, on the flank here is where I put my Minotaur with Great Weapon. And they're going to be moving on the left as a flanking force with my Gorbel. Man, this is freaking sweet watching these guys push forward. God, look at these huge weapons. Absolutely insane. These are, by definition, great weapons here. So yeah, I like having a very hyper-aggressive, hard-hitting flank. I also have a couple units that I've positioned up front um, prior to this battle with the Vanguard deployment. So it's going to be one of my Ungor Raiders. These are just bowmen, what I was... Anticipating to have them just kind of positioned on the flank um, because I knew my enemy was vampire counts, they could perhaps bring some um, flying units. And so I wanted a couple units hidden away in the woods to bait my opponent in and shoot at him if need be. But we can go ahead and take a look at the vampire counts army. It seems that they do not have any flying units, instead, they've opted for a huge build with tons of infantry. Surprised not to see much in the way of anti monster units. I mean, he has grave guards which some of them have shoved up, but none of them have great weapons. And then the rest of this is just really cheapo skeleton warriors. They don't even have spears, so they're not going to be able to do too well against my monsters. They're cheap and numerous, but not much. Uh, in the front, he does have a Vargulf pushing forward, and this is going to be a real treat to see it fight with my guys. Oh, and it does have some bones protruding from the top. That's kind of creepy. Ugh, look at that spine. Jeez, the character models on this are amazing. And he also has some Blood Knights in the back. These, if they get a charge off on my Minotaurs, could be very, very devastating. So I have to look out for these guys. This is probably the biggest threat uh, to my forces. And then he also has two of these units, just the Crypt Horrors. Uh, as we've seen before, they're very powerful, strong monster troops. But now, with Minotaur Minotaurs to come up against them, I'm not sure they can claim that title. And then he also has this sexy vampire pushing forward. So it's a rather small, compact force with just two monster uh, Crip Horror units and a single uh, Vargulf. So in that sense, I should be able to outclass him in the monster front. In the infantry front, he probably has an edge, but it really can be negated by the fact that I have chariots. So let's finally put this on play uh, and let things kind of, well, play out. Let's watch my chariot. I always like bringing chariots and high charge units. They're very fun, a little tough to micro, can be gimmicky. Um, but with the charge bonuses they have, they are brutal in this game. Um, you don't want to be charging them in through the front. Yes, you can get some pretty high, uh, obviously, charge damage right, damage right from the beginning. But then they get stuck pretty easily and tied down. Their best, I found, to kind of keep them near your front lines, prevent an enemy from charging forward. They're kind of there to dissuade the enemy from charging infantry forward. If they do so, then you can feint to charge at them, force the enemy to stall out, and then pull back. But these guys are more ideally used to charge enemy units in the back or the side and absolutely thrash them. That is how you get the bang for your buck. If you can get them through to the enemy rear lines, then you're going to have a field day. 
So on this flank, I'm pushing around with my Minotaurs with great weapons. They are very fast troops, and so if the enemy doesn't have ranged units or a way to start dealing damage with them, what I recommend you do is use a nimble force like this, Minotaurs with great weapons, plus a Gorble, start to harass. See my Gorble there in the distance? And all I'm trying to do is kite the enemy. When he charges me, I'm going to go ahead and pull back. And what I'm going to have is this Gorble in a perfect position here to charge right into these grave guards and look like I said I'm pulling his units out of position slow motion this so now by retreating I've pulled his guys out of position I've isolated the grave guard it's gonna get charged and then the units of crypt horrors here I'm continuing to pull out and I'm gonna engage them with my spearmen I have archers here that can turn about and fire so this is gonna get obliterated and this is gonna obliterate it meanwhile my main line is gonna start moving forward to reinforce this flank I am still having some units hidden in the forest Ungar raiders that are gonna start to unload on his guys and most of his force here is away from the battlefield. But now we can watch as my charge gets right into this force. Like I said, charge your chariots into these uncommitted troops and you're going to do, or sorry, these uh, previously committed troops. Um, they were distracted by my Gorble and I get a nice clean charge. One unit is stuck in the mix, but that's fine. I can continue to pull out of there. Meanwhile on this engagement, take a look at this. Archers lined up perfectly on the flank can start to fire away into some of the enemy crypt horrors. My guys with great weapons are going to do really well against the enemy, and especially my spearmen in the rear, going to be doing super awesome. This is a cool freaking fight to see these two monsters going up against one another. Uh, although I do have this very scary blood knight force to deal with in the rear, but again, you know, if these guys don't get a clear charge, this is why you use spear units like this to blunt a charge his guys could probably destroy my spear line, but it's just about delaying this more key action where his guys are going to start crumbling pretty quickly. I mean, if we pop on the HUD, they're already at half strength here, crumbling. My, my Minotaurs have lost, yes, a little bit of health, but they're destroying uh, the enemy. Just really good stuff. Blood Knights are blunted. My Chariot is finally going to pull out, still at full health. And then my army is all on the surround we can watch from this front as my hidden Ungor Raiders are going to start to unload into the flank of his force, which he doesn't necessarily see. So this is a great, awesome ambush as his troops desperately try to redeploy. I don't see it doing too much damage, but at least it is enough to harass his guys. So I can see that this fight is starting to escalate, so what I'm going to do is pull away my Minotaurs with great weapons. And you'll notice the only thing committed on this front is my high health units. I have my Gorbel here, popping Deadly Onslaught, Foe Seeker, lots of buffs to keep him in the fight. Um, we do, however, have, you know, Blood Knights, Grave Guards, um, and Vargulfs in the vicinity, which could potentially deal death to me. So what I'm doing is only keeping a couple units committed, just enough to keep him pinned down. I've got my Ungor Spear Herd still here. Um, being very, very cheap, but still doing lots of damage. And then my archers firing away. I'm going to be picking off against his Vargulf. And then you can see my general Beast Lord here. He's coming in to land some strikes into the rear of the infantry. Just help even up this fight and essentially get more bang for my buck out of these gore herds. If I can keep these guys from being completely surrounded and shattered, they can do a ton of damage. Meanwhile, watch the disposition of the rest of my forces. This main line here is formed up deep, waiting for his uh, Cryptors to come in. I'm going to get a flanking shot on his guys. And then around the back, I'm pulling some Minotaurs to hit his units. I have in the rear my Razor Chariots, kind of smacking around his wizard, and then going to rev up from some strikes on the rest of his troops. Let's go ahead and watch this fight, where I pull out my Gorbel. He's taken a fair amount of damage, so I want to pull him out of that engagement, and substitute in another Lord with more health. And there was a uh, enemy vampire who was chasing after my Gorbel. That's why I had to get out of there. She was doing punishing damage. Lots of spells against me. I'm going to pull out. Ooh, but Minotaur is right into this front. And take a look at these chariots revving up for the fight. Like I said, boom! Best time to engagement is going to be on instances like that where you have the enemy tied down. The gore herd here, perfect holding force. And then I charge him for the back. Dude, ridiculous damage. Minotaur is here also to support. Just being an absolute incredible uh, engagement. Meanwhile, his I mean, his Cryptors are making mincemeat of my guys. Just like my Minotaurs are making mincemeat of his troops. But I have the support of my Chariots. 
Things are going pretty well. He's starting to crumble here. I have my massive ranks of Ungor Spearmen plus Archers pushing forward. I got my Minotaurs in the back committing against these uh, Graveguard. And yeah, Minotaurs are going to toss these units around. He has nothing to deal damage. No great weapon, so he's going to be going down pretty well. I think I've done a good job of isolating his forces. He does have a Master Necromancer here casting uh, different things on my guys. But now I'm going to line up with Archers in the back. This engagement over here, I have finally actually lost my Minotaur with Great Weapon Force, mostly due to the Blood Knights plus the Vargo, but the entire freaking time I have had cheap archer units firing away at the enemy, picking away his forces, they have been totally worth it. Oh my god. And now they're going to start to regret that action, pull them out, and my gore herd here with the spears still somehow alive, going to be pinning up the enemy. And now his high damage dealing units that he wanted to keep alive are definitely pinned. Pull them out, I can re-engage and hopefully cause them to rout in the center. I still have, ooh, Razor Gore Chariot's gonna get a nice flanking charge. Once more into his ranks. Tons of damage being done uh, in the center. I've managed to pull back my Gorble away from the enemy vampire, cleaned up this engagement, freed up this uh, block of infantry. I'm gonna come back and beat back his zombies. Minotaurs back there were successful. Minotaurs back here coming back. So I've lost almost nothing in this engagement. It's been freaking awesome. My archers are in pretty fair health. Ooh, that is until I get charged by blood knights covered in blood. But still, my units are not routing. You can owe that to the fact that I have good uh, morale standings at this point. I have lots of units left on the field. So they're going to actually stand and fight, which is freaking sweet to see. Meanwhile, zombie units, our skeleton warriors, and other units are going to be crumbling. And I do have a Gorble popping some abilities, and he's going to come here. A monster against monster fight to clean up the enemy. Boom, and he's going to get in here. And in that instant, the vampires know it's over. Look at this face-off between monsters here. Just freaking epic stuff. So I hope this battle did teach you a little bit something about how best to use the um, beastmen. Like I said... People are still getting used to these factions. I'm getting used to these factions. What I have found and what you saw was pretty successful in this battle is using your monstrous units on the flanks to bait, kite, draw the enemy out of position, and then hit them in the rear with um, fast, nimble chariots. Um, and uh, you saw a lot of ganging up as well in this battle. That is always a tried and true way to win in Total War. So make sure you're being cautious with your guys. The Minotaur uh, units and other Beastman units can sometimes be glass cannons so you have to worry about them um, but yeah that's kind of my takeaway from this battle I really hope you guys enjoyed it was really fun to play I have more beastman battles coming up soon really liking these cheap little gore herd units especially with the bows chaos that's something that chaos missed so the beastman here gives you kind of the ability of the chaos swarm with monsters plus a little bit more cavalry variants a little bit more artillery and range unit variants which I like let's end the replay and take a look at some of the final stats here um, in the battle screen. So, yep, I deployed less or fewer men than my opponent. All the killing here is owed to my Minotaurs and Razor Gore Chariot. Even my Gore Herd here doing pretty well against the enemy skeletons. I neutralized the Grave Guards with massive charges from, you know, big charge units. Gorbel here was meant to tie down the enemy Cryptors. This one did a lot of damage to uh, my Gore Herd, but still, Blood. Oh, actually, Blood Knights with 123 kill. But most of those kills. We're done on cheap units, so you saw how I used cheap units to block, tie down the enemy. While my expensive units got in to help out, but pulled out just when they had kind of slivers of health. You can also um, make that even better by equipping potions of healing or damage resistance to your heroes and popping them at the right abilities. That's what I was doing in this match. It didn't quite show in the replay, but that's what helped me kind of sustain in that battle. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think of the Beastmen. I am really enjoying them. They are fresh, they are fun, and they are awesome. See you in the next one. Peace out.